Massachusetts sets high expectations for all students, regardless of the school district that they live in. Massachusetts, it's a very innovative state because we have standards that go above and beyond what the norm is. We've always really pushed our own thinking into deciding what is the end goal for all of our students? Where do we want them to be? We want to make sure all of our students are really prepared for the jobs and careers that the 21st century has to offer and what our, our world needs. And our new standards are really supporting the development of students in terms of their skills that can really be applied in the workplace. Our hope with these standards is that the students will take the, the knowledge and skills learned in the classroom and take it beyond their, for instance, in everyday life and society. Students in mathematics should engage with meaningful, real-world problems every single day. Teaching math has real-world problems, not just as numbers. It sets them up to look at a problem that they're facing and have skills, have a toolbox of strategies they've used to solve something before. The way that they learn best is if they're really actively sort of involved in the learning process and really seeing how it applies to their own lives. And um, our new standards are really designed to make sure that students are grappling with real stuff. I need to have the carpeting fit the room. I need to figure out the tip for my restaurant bill. For children, they need to understand that math is really a part of real world life and is a way that we solve problems as children and of course as adults too. Once you learn the things that they value and the things that they do every day and become a part of their world that way, you're able to develop real world problems that relate, that are relevant to their everyday life. If I come up with this great problem, but the students have no idea the background of the problem, that real world problem will actually get in the way of them understanding the mathematics. Part of learning is around being able to take academic risk. If we stay safe, we don't learn as much. You have to be able to go beyond to be able to look at that next step, which is really about confidence. The kids need the academic skills that we teach through the standards, but they also need the soft people skills that just make you a nice whole person and can really interact well with other people and have meaningful relationships in your life. When you invest in students' social-emotional learning, you invest in them as learners for life. Social-emotional learning is actually um, one of the key parts of what educators need to attend to in order to actually teach math, science, or English. My goal for students in the classroom is for them to be able to think for themselves and make decisions on their own and feel confident about it. I hope that these new standards help to raise the bar for our students, that students will be even better prepared for um, the rest of their life and to make sure that when they graduate from our um, wonderful public high schools that they are ready for whatever the, the next step is right for them. A classroom that is aligned to these standards is a classroom that is in a position to better prepare their students for the goal for that grade level. A classroom that is aligned to these standards is a classroom that's teaching students how to persevere.